Hi and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to get started. We're going to make shrimp and spaghetti with cheese and butter, garlic, garlic butter. The ingredients you're going to need is 24 ounces of shrimp. It's pre-cooked with the tail on. Then we're going to use 14 ounces of spaghetti. And then we're going to use 8 teaspoons full of butter. Then we're going to use 3 garlic cloves, 1 fourth of a lemon, 1 teaspoon of salt, one half a teaspoon of pepper and we're going to use five ounces of melting cheese and then we're going to use parmesan cheese about um, two teaspoons two teaspoons and a half of parmesan cheese and we're going to get started with our shrimp and spaghetti recipe so we're going to turn on our pan on medium high and we're going to add our butter and garlic Plus one garlic, two garlics, and three. And a little butter melt. I'm gonna let our butter melt. Now that our butter is fully melted and it's been cooking in the garlic, we're gonna add our shrimp so it can start cooking. And put up the the burner to a high and we're gonna let our shrimp cook for three minutes before we we go we're gonna add the salt and the pepper pinch of lemon now we're gonna let them cook for about three minutes and we'll come back so see our shrimp's been cooking for about three minutes and the shrimp was pre-cooked and it had the tails on so I took the tails off but um, pretty much it's, it's good to go because it was pre-cooked we just saute it a little bit with the butter, the garlic, and the seasoning. So we're gonna get the spaghetti going. So our, our water's boiling already. We're gonna add our spaghetti. So I like to cut my spaghetti into three sections. And I add a little a little bit of oil, just a little half of a teaspoon. And then we add a little pinch of salt. Just a pinch. Two pinches. And we're gonna move it around a little bit so it won't stick. And then we're gonna cover it and we'll come back to it. Let it cook for about eight minutes. And remember to always come back and check on your spaghetti. You have to move it around because if you don't move it around, it's gonna stick to the bottom of the pan or it's gonna stick to each other and they're not gonna separate well. So we're gonna move it around. And it's already been cooking for four minutes, so it needs another four minutes to go. We'll come back. So we're going to preheat our oven to 325. 
and time eight ten minutes. So our garlic bread is going to be done by the time we finish cooking our shrimp and spaghetti. So now we're going to wait for the oven to preheat and we're going to throw our garlic bread in there. So now while we have our spaghetti cooking and our shrimp is already sauteing in the butter, we're going to throw our garlic bread in the oven. So we're going to do two garlic breads at 325 degrees for 18 minutes. Now there are spaghetti's done. It's fully cooked. Our shrimp, it's been sauteing. We didn't, we turn it off to wait for the spaghetti to finish cooking. Cause this shrimp is already pre-cooked. So we don't want to overcook it cause it's not gonna taste good. It's gonna taste like rubber. So we threw the water out of our spaghetti. So now we're gonna add our spaghetti to our shrimp and butter. We're gonna let it get the spaghetti into the sauce. And while we were waiting for our spaghetti to cook, we cut our our melted cheese. You could use any cheese. You could use mozzarella cheese. You could use. Sorry, let me turn off the oven. You could use mozzarella cheese, you could use Monterey, whatever cheese you like, you could add into your into your spaghetti to uh, melt provolone, any cheese you like that melts, you could add to it. So now we're going to add our cheese. And I cut into little squares. I'm using um, Oaxaca cheese, it's a melting cheese, and it's skim milk cheese so we're gonna let it melt in there and then we're gonna add our parmesan cheese to give it another different flavor and then we're gonna cover it and let it melt so the spaghetti could get the flavor of the um, butter and the seasoning that we put in there and then we're gonna come back so now while we're waiting for our spaghetti to get the flavor of the butter and to our, our cheese to melt we're gonna take out our garlic bread See, it's our garlic bread that we put in the oven while we were waiting for our spaghetti to be fully cooked so we're just gonna put it right here next to the Let's see, we have garlic bread, and we're almost done. We're just waiting for our cheese to melt, so let me move the garlic bread. We're going to move our spaghetti, and see the cheese is just going to go all in there. Start melting with our spaghetti and shrimp. Let's see. So it tastes wonderful. Delicious. See? It's getting all those flavors in there. Of the cheese, the butter, the shrimp. at how creamy it is. And that's it. We're done. Nice and delicious garlic butter with shrimp and spaghetti. I'm going to turn it off. I'm going to serve myself. Some delicious, some shrimp. Mm. 
Where did it go? It's a little bit too much. So now I'm gonna cover it. So when my son and my husband come home, it's gonna be warm. We're almost home. And we're gonna add a little piece of garlic to our meal. Two little pieces. Now we're gonna try it. Put it in our. And it's nice and delicious. I'm gonna wait a little bit and then we'll try it. I don't wanna get burned. So now we waited about three minutes. Now we're gonna try it. Mmm. Delicious. Mm. Mm. It tastes so good. It's delicious.